Hello, we're going to be working with VirtualBox OSE today. The OSE edition is uh, the edition that comes with the Ubuntu Software Center. You can download it. It does not have any USB features and transferring files to and from it can be kind of difficult. So today we're going to start with the first thing is creating blank uh, floppy images. Now I also read somewhere that you can use to remove this you can use a blank text file with the extension renamed ing but as you can see this is not going to work because the uh, file does not contain the headers and the proper information that it needs to recognize it as a disk image so we can get rid of that right now and I'm going to show you another method go into your Applications, sound and video in your Bracero disk burner. Go up to data project. And I already pre-selected some files, but you're going to want to get close as possible to 1.4 or just a little over 1.4 megabytes. I want 1.5 to be safe. And I pretty much got it on target. As you can see, it says 1.5. And we don't want a disk in there, so it will automatically want to burn or well, burn, but write it as a disk image to your hard drive. And you'll see it's a .iso. It'll ask you where you want to put it. You put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it in programs. And it's done. Real quick. Close this. And as you can see now, now you can add the floppy after you boot up your DOS uh, virtual box, but I'm going to add it beforehand in case someone else does this and I show them what to do okay skip this step you gotta rename your image here's the Bracero image that we made from those two files we're gonna call it floppy one dot ISO to dot ING there we go this is floppy one add floppy one 1.5 megabytes and select that and there it is now back to what I was saying <coughs> when you start up your virtual box it's going to want to boot off your virtual floppy and it's going to lock up to stop this click devices floppy devices now here you click the atom after the fact but if you already did you click the floppy off machine reset now it will boot from the virtual hard drive. Right, entering information, okay. Now, we'll click our floppy device by going to devices, floppy devices, floppy1.image. And we're going to format, well, first let's switch to it to see what happens. See, it recognizes it as an invalid media type. It's there, it knows it's there, but it will not read it feel that go to C and now let's click the floppy device off and go to A so you can see the two different errors general failure reading drive A which means the disk is not available we're going to fail that go back to C click the device back on now I this is a very basic uh, DOS install on this virtual box I have very minimal things I need just to format so what I'm going to do is I'm going to format a. And if you have a, a CD-ROM in, it might be format B. But if you want this to be a bootable image, you would put a slash system, or S for system, and it would make it a bootable image. But we're just going to format it so we can put files on it. So we put format A, and it says insert a new disk for drive A, press enter when ready. It's formatted, it wants you to label disk. We'll call it fake flop 1. Format another? No. Now we're going to try going to A again. And as you can see, it's now valid. We type directory, and it's empty. So let's give it something. It's a copy command.com to A. Okay, back to A. And as you can see, it copied just fine to the file. Uh, let's erase it. Okay, back to uh, check it. 
it's clear the C okay we just made a virtual floppy for a virtual machine you got devices release the floppy you can click on mount uh, and close on our virtual machine now this will create a very basic image as I said before you can probably go online and download someone's pre-made uh, floppy disk image and format that if you want to be precise with the size but this will get you by and you can transfer files from virtual machine to virtual machine with this and later I'll cover how to get files into this image from Linux and put them into virtual box so if you have some Windows files on your Linux machine you want to put in your virtual box you can do that and later I'll show you another method too you can do this with CD-ROM images uh, I hope this tutorial helped you for now and I hope to show you more later